We have a just a very cold night ahead. In fact, one city in Metro Detroit might make history tonight. I'll tell you which one in just a moment. But right now it's 51 in Detroit, 47 in Howell, 49 in Pontiac, and 50 in Adrian. If you went out to walk the dog tonight, you probably had a nice little surprise. It is cold outside tonight and it's going to get even colder. We don't have clouds and the heat, just any heat we've gathered during the day just escapes into the atmosphere. So we'll definitely be down into the low 40s in many areas, but not done there. The further you get away from the city, that's right, we're starting to see some 30s pop up on the map, especially in our western zone. Howell, Brighton, Fenton all dropping down into the upper 30s tonight, but it's our northern zone that we're paying attention to. Upper 30s to low 40s, but look at Port Huron. The possibility, some of the computer models suggesting that Port Huron will get down to 32 degrees. Not quite sure if you'll get there, but if Port Huron gets to 32, they will make history because on this day in 1974, Detroit's temperature dropped to 30 degrees. This is the earliest freezing temp in Detroit weather history. Uh, now that's at the airport, but Port Huron is going to get down to 32 and that would break that record. 65 degrees will be the high temperature tomorrow. Low 70s, that's where we should be. Saturday's high will be 67 also on Sunday and then back down to 64 Monday. What about the chance for rain this weekend? Something we're keeping a close eye on because some of the computer models started to bring in a brief shower Saturday morning and then clearing out and then overnight Saturday into the day on Sunday. That's when we'll see the majority of the rain. But if you are headed to the big house, Tailgating, you might see an isolated shower, otherwise just mostly dry temps in the mid 60s by the end of the game. Michigan State, mostly cloudy skies as that is a later game in the afternoon and temperatures will be in the low 60s at 3 o'clock, 59 at 7 o'clock. Let's talk about this forecast because we have a lot to talk about in the extended uh, future cast. 42 degrees becoming mostly clear overnight tonight. Again, some of those outlying suburbs could reach the uh, upper 30s, not out of the question. 65 degrees with mostly sunny skies. And then as we look ahead to the future forecast, we stay in the 60s for the next seven days. Better shower chance on Sunday than on Saturday. So if you have outdoor plans, you might want to get things done Saturday because it looks like Sunday could be a rainy and cold mm. day. But it's really the nights that are getting very, very yeah, cold. Yeah, that's pretty. You see? You're yeah, going to have to let us know someplace. Yeah, tomorrow yeah. night. I Karen, will. Turn goes. That heat I'm not going to do it. Mine's been on for two really? weeks. So, oh, yeah. Serious? Oh, yeah. Always. Oh. <laughs> Always. Thank you, Kim.